In this video, I'm going to show you how to index your website in Google. Or actually, to put it more correctly, we're just going to make sure that our insight is being indexed by Google because Google automatically does a pretty good job of indexing websites. But I'm going to give you some tips in this video on how to make sure that Google is indexing your website and getting the latest information on the latest pages or posts that you've added to your website. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great quality websites. So in this video, as I said, I'm going to show you how to check whether Google is indexing your website. And then after that, if you have a WordPress website, I'm going to show you how to submit a sitemap, which basically tells Google about all of the pages that are on your website and also tells Google when you've updated your website. I'll show you two methods of doing that. But if you have a different kind of website, I want to know about that down below. And let me see if I can help you out figuring out how to make a sitemap for your type of website. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is check whether Google is indexing our website. So what we need to do here is just go into Google search, type in site, colon, and then the name of your website. So I'll type in realwebsitehints.com. And there we go. We can see Real Website Hints is there. You can see some of the pages that I have. Now if we go back up here to Google search, and this is a page that I just made, um, restaurant, Restaurant, yeah. So this is a website that I made as part of a demo. And as you can see here, um, it's not there, but there actually are pages on it. So if this was a real website, it would definitely benefit from having a sitemap to tell Google that, hey, I made a website, it's got pages on it. So let's see how we do that in WordPress. And there's two different methods. The first method I think is the best and easiest for beginners, and that is to install Jetpack on your website. And it's one of the easiest ways of seeing things like site stats or how much traffic your website's getting. And I've got a video on exactly how to set up the free version of Jetpack right here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but there are some stumbling blocks that you might come across trying to keep the version free. Uh, but let's look at that. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. So we go, here's a dashboard of a blog that I've made called Hey Not Bad. I haven't really been updating it that much. Uh, it's kind of time intensive. It's a recipe blog, but it's a great example. And I was actually noticing I don't have a sitemap for this website. So let's see how we do that. So I already have Jetpack installed. And as I said before, I'll link to a video that will show you how to install the free version of Jetpack. But if we go over here to Jetpack, and then we go to settings, and then we want to go over here to traffic. And we'll scroll down here to sitemaps. And so we'll click on generate XML sitemap. And so here we go. It's now generated a sitemap. And then either open up a second tab or go back to the tab where you had your Google search open. And now we're going to sign up for Google Search Console. And actually, Google Search Console is another way that you can use to verify whether or not Google has indexed your website. So to sign up for Google Search Console, just type into Google Search, Search Console. And then you want to go here to search.google.com and click on that. There we go. And now we're going to sign up for Google Search Console. So to do that, click Start Now. Choose an account to sign up for. So this is the account that you want your website associated with. You can actually have multiple different websites on one account if you want to manage a bunch of different websites from one account. So before we enter in anything here, we actually want to go back to the dashboard of our WordPress website. And then here, we're going to do Verify with Google. Choose an account that you want this website to be associated with and sign into it, or if you're already signed in, click on it. It's going to tell you what information it's supplying to Google. Click Allow. It says the site is now verified. We've got this indication up here. So now we can go back over to Search Console. So if you use that verification method, we need to go over here to URL Prefix. And you want to type in the full address of your website and then click Continue. And now we can go to Property and see what information Google has about our website. So right now, uh, we just signed up, so there is no information. But hopefully, we can go over to Sitemaps here. 
and we can see that the sitemap has been added. If there was no sitemap, this wouldn't show up. Okay, so now let's look at the second method for adding a sitemap to our website. So I'm going to go to the dashboard of my other site. Okay, here we are. You basically want to have just one sitemap per website. So if you are already using Jetpack, for example, you don't want to use Jetpack on the same site, or you want to turn the Jetpack sitemap off and turn on the other one. But the other way to add in a sitemap is with a plugin called Yoast, which also will help you with your search engine optimization. So to add that plugin, we're going to go over to Plugins, Add New. And then we're going to search for Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. And then click on Install Now. And this may take a few minutes. And then once it's finished installing, click Activate. Click Start First Time Configuration. Go over to Webmaster Tools, and then we want to get a Google verification code. So click on the button for Google Search Console. So that link will take us directly to Search Console. So if you're not signed in to Google Search Console, it'll ask you to sign in. If you're already signed in like I am, this information will show up here. And then we want to click on HTML tag. And then you want to copy the whole tag. And then leave this tab open. And you want to go back to your website. And then where it says Google Verification Code, paste that in. Click Save Changes. It says Settings Saved. Go back to the tab with the web where it says Webmaster Central at the top, and then click Verify. There we go. And now that's verified. We can go back over to our website. And now we just need to turn the sitemaps on for Yoast. So to do that, we're going to go over to Features, scroll down, find XML sitemaps, and just make sure that that is turned on. And then we can go back to Search Console. If you've already signed up for Search Console, you can simply go back to Search Console. If you need to sign up for Search Console, simply go to search.google.com slash search dash console and sign up. And in this example, I've already signed up for Search Console, so I need to add a new property. So to add a new property, go to the drop down here, click Add Property. And we want to add in the property on the right-hand side under URL prefix. We're going to add in the address. And then click Continue. And since I already verified it with that method, we can now click Go to Property. And we'll go over here to Sitemap. So Yoast has created our sitemap, but we now need to add it to Google Search Console. And for the Yoast sitemap, you'll want to enter in sitemap underscore index dot XML and then click Submit. All right, so there we go. We've now learned how to index our website in Google, or actually rather how to check that Google has indexed our website. And if it hasn't, or in order to make sure that Google has the correct information, we've learned two different methods to submit a sitemap to Google. If you found this video helpful, definitely consider pushing the like button down below. Help other people find this video also. And if you have any questions about building websites or getting indexed in Google, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I'm here to help you guys. For more videos, definitely hit the subscribe button to find more videos on how to build websites. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and thanks for watching.